ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome back to Boss Comics. Uh, I spoke about this very briefly recently. Um, I might have alluded to it in a few videos in the past, but one of my favorite superheroes is Moon Knight. Um, he's got a Disney Plus series coming up in the near future. Um, <clears throat> so I, I am both terrified that it's going to be awful, but also really excited that maybe, just maybe, it'll be good. <laughs> because one of my favorite superheroes is also Daredevil, and um, nobody except super nerds really knew who the fuck Daredevil was until the Netflix show came out and, and did a terrific job. Uh, first season, at least. <laughs> I've got very mixed feelings on two uh, seasons two, three, and Defenders, which should maybe be videos unto themselves. But anyway, <clears throat> so Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight, I think, is a really incredible character. Uh, very unique. Um, the running joke in the Moon Knight fandom is making fun of the people who say that Moon Knight is Marvel's Batman. <laughs> And I think th the really ironic thing about that, like I get why it pisses people off because Moon Knight is arguably a far more complex and um, weird and uh, interesting character overall uh, than Batman. Batman's just infinitely more popular. But uh, I think the really interesting thing about the Batman comparison is that, uh, well, one of the things I've always said about Batman is the way that you make Batman more interesting is you openly acknowledge in the fiction that Bruce Wayne is absolutely insane and then use that not like don't just do like a storyline like a single storyline based around it don't just like have a couple characters like kind of fucking you know alluding to it whatever no uh fucking like really make it like a focal point of 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 the book like batman is buku fucking nuts that doesn't mean he's not a hero he's a very tragic hero but um but he is insane like the only reason he's not in arkham is because he's not killing people um like he he is just as sick uh in many ways as the villains he fights which is something that is alluded to very often but is never i feel you know appropriately addressed <clears throat> Well, that's what Moon Knight is all about. Uh, Moon Knight follows a former mercenary named uh, Mark Spector, who was uh, killed uh, during uh, a mission. I think I think his origin was like he was like protecting, uh, like him and another guy were protecting um, a uh, like an archaeology dig site in uh, in Egypt or something, and. Uh, <clears throat> You know, he uh, the the guy he was with, uh, like threatened, uh, like kind of turn turn tail and uh, threatened uh, or not turn tail, but, you know, uh, did a turn, did a Benedict Arnold. I think he got like a better off or something. I don't remember the, the exact details, but he turned out to be a bad guy. Surprise, surprise. And so, uh, you know, he threatens um, <clears throat> the head of the dig and uh, the guy's daughter, uh, Marlene. And Mark tries to, you know, he 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 has the hero's choice, and he like steps up and tries to be a badass, and he gets like shot to death, or, well, shot and left for dead, um, under the moonlight in front of this uh, this 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 temple to uh, to this god uh, named Kanchu, and uh, Kanchu supposedly uh, reaches out to Mark and is like. You know, rise, my son, become my warrior priest and and be awesome. And uh, and yeah, like worship the moon. We're going to do rad shit. And so, you know, Mark uh, rises from the dead. You know how literal that is, is is, is up to interpretation um, and then goes on to become uh, the vicious vigilante uh, Moon Knight. Um, so he is, uh, he is a warrior priest, uh, with a very contentious, uh, relationship with an angry, vengeful god that may not actually exist because it is entirely possible that Mark Spector is just completely insane. Uh, one of the key tenets of Moon Knight is his, uh, 
dissociative identity disorder. Um, th the comics have kind of gone back and forth about whether or not he... Ha well, okay, so he has multiple identities. Of course, you know, um, there's there's Mark Spector, you know, his his given name. Um, and then, of course, there's Moon Knight, the, the, the costume persona. But then he also will sometimes become Jake Lockley, a uh, street savvy cab driver. Uh, or he will become Stephen Grant, uh, affluent, gajillionaire entrepreneur, you know. Uh, and then there was the really weird time when Brian Michael Bendis was writing Moon Knight and uh, he would sometimes become Spider-Man or Wolverine or uh, Captain America. It was a it was a strange time and we don't we don't really talk about it. But uh, <laughs> but that was a thing, too. Um, there's been other things, too. Uh, Mark, uh, in one of the more recent runs over the last like five or six years, uh, adapted another uh, persona, uh, kind of a, 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 a suited uh, masked detective by the name of Mr. Knight, who would work uh, with the police, um, a la 60s Batman. <clears throat> And uh, you know th these 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 multiple identities have been um, have been a, a cornerstone of the character since his inception. But the really interesting thing is that you know the Moon Knight books don't really shine away from the fact that this is this is a horrible thing <laughs> that he is a he is a a, a fractured man um, living too many lives. And uh, but then in spite of it all, you know, he still tries to do good. And uh, that's really cool, because I think that there is a real dearth of um, appropriate representation of mental illness in comics. I think generally in comics, when we talk about mental illness, what happens all too often is we, we get some kind of very blanket idea of, of PTSD or we just get like, you know, fucking, oh, they just went crazy. They had a psychotic break. That's that's really what seems to be the bulk of our, our examination of mental illness in Western comics. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the indie scene, of course, it's there's there's a lot more nuance. There's a lot more interesting stuff that goes on. But I feel like in, in contemporary comics here in the West, it's 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 generally either PTSD or some kind of like angry, haha, psychotic break. Usually somebody uh, becomes a supervillain. It's I'm not saying I don't enjoy those tropes, but like as somebody who works in human services, like I uh, <laughs> it gets a little aggravating sometimes. And I it's not that I it's not that I can't turn my brain off and enjoy um the popcorn, you know what I mean? It's more that like I can definitely appreciate it when something has a little bit more substance when it comes to mental illness. And um, Moon Knight uh, has that in spades. So if you're if you're if that appeals to you, this idea of like a, a hero like at war with his own mind, constantly uh, examining w what it means to uh, you know what what the nature of his own identity is. Um, that's 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 kind of one of the cool things about Moon Knight. Um, <clears throat> uh, seeing his his kind of like uh, tumultuous, uh, abusive relationship with Kanchu uh, is fascinating as well. It's 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 kind of a who was it in the Bible that was like her like horrifically punished and and he just like fell to his knees like why god why was that job was job the the punished guy the guy that, like god and satan had a bet but it's like uh like like it's like Kanshu, if he exists is is really just out to torment mark at every uh possible avenue he doesn't uh he doesn't provide comfort he uh, seems to only provide guidance sometimes as a way of uh, showing his own power. Uh, and he has abandoned Mark when Mark needs him most uh, on more than one occasion. Uh, Kanchu is a very petulant, childlike god, an angry god. Um, but uh, having said all that, uh, you know, while it's hard to watch sometimes, it's, it's just a cool relationship to explore. Because typically when you when you think about the warrior priest archetype, you have somebody who's like 
steadfastly devoted to um to their god right where the, there's like a real like a love and like a like a faithful fervor um with mark specter the impression i've always gotten with the books that i've read is it's it's more like if i turn my back on god what what, what will i have left like I, I've never gotten the impression that Mark is is happy uh, being uh, a priest of Kanchu. He's more just like fucking like I I got nothing else. Like fuck, my life is a dumpster fire. I oh god, this is all I got. <laughs> so yeah, sure, Kanchu, I'll do what you say. I'll go fight evildoers. <clears throat> and that, I don't know that kind of that kind of uh, like tired tragedy is is interesting to me. Another really cool thing about Moon Knight is he's kind of like a good in-between, a good balance, where um, if you're one of those people that gets annoyed that Batman like won't fucking just end the Joker, right? Or but at, but at the same time, you don't want Batman to become the, the Punisher, right? If you're like, I just wish Batman would make an exception because fuck this. Moon Knight's a good book for you because uh, unless they've changed it, uh, I didn't read much of the Max Bemis run, but I read like the two runs before that in their entirety. Um, the the way it's always seemed to kind of work from what I've seen is that like Mark Spector is willing to kill people if that's what needs to be done, but he doesn't like set out to do it. He's not like a murdering psychopath. Uh, it's more just like, you know, he's here to save innocent lives. Uh, and if the easiest way to do that is to Spartan kick you off a building, he's not going to cry about it. Like, Moon Knight is based as fuck. Like, <laughs> that's... He's, he's just kind of like the... I almost feel like he's a mentally ill dude LARPing as a superhero. Uh, and, and just kind of, just kind of, just kind of beating his way through it through sheer force of will. Um, I... I really enjoy the character. I really enjoy the books. I my wife was saying to me the other day that uh, I like womp characters, and I, I guess I guess that's like a term from fan fiction. I don't really read fan fiction, but she does. She reads it extensively, and I guess she said like uh, womp characters are, are are characters that are kind of broken, you know, and have have a lot of issues and and are very tragic and and I I think that, you know, Mark Spector uh, fits that bill precisely and I think it makes him very interesting. So, my my biggest concerns <clears throat> as far as uh, Moon Knight goes when it w with the the new show coming out. Um the one thing <laughs> you know, we're very concerned with performative wokeness these days, right? Like we don't we don't actually want to to do much to meaningfully address things like uh, like um, a system a systemic racism or or wealth inequality, uh, you know, uh, anti-Semitism. We don't really want to do anything to meaningfully address that, but but we're very concerned with our, re our representation. You understand? So uh, because Mark Spector is Jewish. The, the the biggest thing I've heard about this show so far is they're like, it's very important that we make uh, Mark Spector's Jewish heritage such a such a, you know, an integral part of the character. Now now my my biggest exposure to Moon Knight like, uh, you know the Warren Ellis run, the run after the Warren Ellis run that I don't I don't remember the guy but it was I enjoyed it very much. Um, and then I, before all that, I, I read the Bendis run as well, you know, with the, with the Captain America, Wolverine, Spider-Man thing. And, uh, in all those, I don't remember his Jewish heritage being a kind of a big deal. And I just, I'm, I'm getting kind of alarm bells in my head. Cause I'm like, Oh God, are you going to now? Hold on. The character has been around since the eighties. So somebody in the comics, like comments, like, please like, you know, Hey, like, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Like it, is 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 Mark's like um, Judaism like a big part of his character? Have I is that just not been drilled down a lot in the uh, modern books? Because I'm not trying to speak from a place of ignorance here. Like, please correct me. But what I'm afraid of is they're going to try to be like, use this like just fact about this character. Like, oh, yes, he happens to be Jewish. And they're going to be like, oh, 
Oh man, we're look, 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 look at us taking a stand against anti-Semitism. Look at us with our representation. Look how Jewish the main character is. You know, if they have like Mark Spector walking around wearing a yarmulke, um, like I, I just feel like it's gonna be really weird and uncomfortable. Um, you know, it's I that's I I am a little afraid of that. You know, the, it's interesting too, considering uh, Walt Disney's uh, known anti-Semitism. I wonder if this has something to do with that, too. I wonder if Marvel's going to be like, look how not anti-Semitic we are, guys. <laughs> See? See? It's the equivalent of like, look at my black friend. So I'm a little worried about that. What I haven't heard enough of, this is, I, I bring up the Ju the Judaism thing because I that's what they seem to be doubling down on. And it concerns me not because Jewish representation is not pog and good and great, because it is. Um... There's been next to no talk that I've seen about the mental illness angle. Which which is like inherent to the character. I I I it's been mentioned, like it's been brought up in like an interview. But but holy shit, like I don't know, man. Like I feel like the mental illness is infinitely more important. Now, that might be because I struggle with mental illness myself and I am not Jewish. So, you know, I, I am fully cognizant of the fact that it might just be because of my personal biases that I weight uh uh the the mental illness uh themes uh more heavily. But I just feel like that's Right by default, I feel like that's going to appeal to a wider audience of people, and I think that that's an area that is is sorely lacking in representation. And I, I guess I'm just a little weirded out that we're focusing so much on the Jewish thing and we haven't said much about the mental illness. I, I, I they've certainly given no given no indication they're really going to take it out. That would be a mistake. Holy shit. And I think that that would probably I don't like to use the, this word very often, but I think that would actually be offensive uh, to do that, you know? Uh, oh, man. See, this is what I'm talking about, though. Like Moon Knight has the potential to be something weird and visceral and different on top of being like a really good opportunity to uh provide a platform for discussions about things like dissociative identity disorder. And I am so terrified that Disney is going to going to squander it, you know? Um, and this will be just another fucking like badly lit, uh, you know, uh, superhero show where we uh, go to great lengths to uh, keep keep the hero out of costume for as long as possible because we're still ashamed of the fact that we have grown men running around in 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 in, in circus circus clothes or whatever fucking punching people um, so i don't know man i am i am really hoping for the best i am really hoping for the best um but i am so scared i am so scared we'll have to see we'll have to see um, I will probably be reviewing uh, Moon Knight. Uh, well, yeah, no, 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 because it's going to be on Disney Plus, so they're going to be doing it. They'll probably do like a couple episodes up front, and then they'll do it week to week. So I will probably be doing weekly Moon Knight reviews on this channel. Um, yeah, that's probably going to happen. So, so look forward to those. Like, I will let you guys know how I feel about the Moon Knight show. But, uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm so scared. Pray to conch you with me, people. Okay, uh, uh, I am a traveler by night. I am in need of protection uh, from 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 a horrible adaptation. Anyway, <clears throat> that's it. Just just some thoughts on the Moon Knight show. I really appreciate you guys and your continued support. If you'd like to support me further. <gasps> You can make a one-time $3 donation down in the comments below. Comments? Wow, fuck. See, I was trying to be clever and I fucked it up. Not the comments. <coughs> down in the description. Um, and uh, you could also like this video. You could uh, share it with your friends. You could subscribe. You could hit the bell for notifications. You don't have to, but it'd be a lot cooler if you did. Okay, thanks. Bye.